flags and for the heritage flags you have to cut dresses a couple of weeks beforehand to wand them where you make the what they call a band. And you make a band, what's the rushes, pull the rushes out here, keep all the grass out and when you when you pull, cut, cut them, and you divide them like that there and you make a beaten band, as we call a beaten band. And that's the and you put that down and you tie the put it on the front. The same as there's uh, this bunch of cut here or pulled here, you tie it in and uh, I'll start pulling this bit here now, so you see how it's uh, all done, what we've done in the like, 30s and 40s and beforehand. Last time I harvested flags was 60 years ago. 60 years ago to Tommy Duncan and Tommy McKinney. Okay, Colm, what happens now after you... When you put it on, the, on there in the bunch, right. you take it in and you put it into the, the dam or the water. Right, but what's the purpose of putting it in the dam? Why you do you... It for the, to cure the... When you, get, when you get the flags, when you take it out of the dam, when you go to the dam and you have it on for 12 to 14 days, you get it and you break it like that there and it breaks, clean, and the skin, the inside comes away from the skin. That's it, ready for... Yeah, so the water then, the dam is really to soak it, they rot the exterior. Yeah, yeah. So do you get out the fibre and the... Yeah, the fibre's outside one. Okay. And then you, you put it, I'll put it over there to dry. Mm. When, when I take it out of the water. And what happens when you dry it? You dry it, you stick it up then. Mm. And then after it's dried completely, you take it into the mold for the... to be squished into the uh, linen. The, and the... Linen. Linen, yeah. yeah. And they clean, the, they clean off the, the rough parts. Mm. And it goes through, uh, you have the roller, you have the scotcher, and then you have the buffer. Mm. And it goes to the buffer, that's it clean, ready for going to the shop. So what are the three stages and what happens at each stage? The roller, if the roller breaks it up, when it goes through the roller, it comes it up, breaks mm. it up. Then it goes into the man that does the, the scotcher, and he scotches it. Now what does that mean, Colm? That means taking the, the, the outer, the inner, you know, the, what do you call it, the inner shell. The other shell is it? The inner shell of the bags, you take it off because mm. you, you hold on to the outside of it mm. and that takes the, 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 uh, the inside of the, the, of the bags mm. when, you, when you break it up, that there comes off, all this stuff here goes off and all this here like, will come off and then you have uh, just a clean linen left behind mm -hmm. so that then you have, and then you have whatever rough stuff left in, that goes in and they call it, they call it a buffer finishes it off and that goes to the uh, to the army for making bags with. Yeah. The rough stuff. What's the buffer then? That's the, well, he's the last man, he puts it all into the, the same as the first procedure only it was into a, a different, the wider, you widen the, uh, st the stocks mm. to leave it, you know, you get better. Mm. You know, because you're putting it in big, you're putting it in big your rolls. So we're going to take it on there and you can put it the Scotch way, the Ulster Scotch way, or the English way you want to run, but it's going to soak it or, or steep it, but in the Scot English word is red. So, we'll put it on in red and we'll... Put it in and you put stones in the top of it to keep it, keep it down. And keep it on here now for roughly up to... 7 to 11 days, maybe a bit more, according to what way, you take it out then and you, you take it out then and you break it, and if it breaks clean, and the skin, the, the outer skin comes off it, it's ready for taking out and spreading. That's, and then after that then we'll take it out and you dry it in the green. Right, I'm just after taking this out of the, the dam, well I said Arlo used as a dam, and uh, I'm spreading it now, so that's one bit spread, I have two bits here. And the two bits are what we called. We had four bits already, but we have two spread already. And spreading the second bit. There's the last one here. So, there's a wee bit of hoagie of it right now. A hoagie means a smell. <laughs> if you run out there squats, that's what it does. A hoagie. Leave it out here now to dry, and then when it's when it dry, then it's uh, lifts it up again, put up the bits, and it's, it's taken in and uh, it's stuck. 
Maar dat is dus een beetje draaien. En als het draaien, het tegen de kip zet ze een stuk voor een couple of weeks draaien. En dan je tegen de nul en af daar. Of je pakt een shed of je een gooien je torn te houden. Dat is een 